Well, we made it to Colorado yesterday after a nine hour drive, as we suspected. What she meant to say was, yesterday was a day from hell. <laughs> Day, everything was going wrong. Was We're like an hour away from the campground. We're just so tired and we want to get there. And Brittany takes me down a dirt road, like no, no, a no, mud no. bog road. Not Brittany. Google Maps takes us down. And it was a Colorado State Road. So yeah, turn left here. And I look at it and it looks like I'm going to a mud bog. I'm like, well, there's no way that this is the road. At that point, it was too late. You had to make the turn. Yeah, I, I had no choice. There's nowhere to turn around. So we go down this mud road. The travel trailer and the truck look like we went mudding. I mean, it's absolutely covered in mud. And video. it's like that sandy mud. So it's really hard to get off. So we got here at like after four yesterday, then we unhitched the trailer. It's full hookups. After we unhitched the trailer, we realized the hookups are like really awkward. They're way in the back. So you couldn't reach the sewer or the electric. So well, we had to rehitch up. I would say it's kind of full hookups because it's like pointless to even try. Yeah, we had to rehitch up and move the trailer all the way to the back corner. And the people next to us, it just so happens that this campground is like literally a grand design convention. convention. Like half the campers here are grand design. The people next to us are in a solitude and they're like, yep, we had to do the same thing because the electric just doesn't fit, which is really weird for a campground. And then on top of it all, I asked Brittany, how much is this campground? $40 a night. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So, yeah. but we made it. We're here in Colorado, one of our favorite places to be. My parents are getting here in just a few days. So, um, we're just happy to be back. Today's a new day. It's beautiful out. It's good weather. So, we're yeah. going to head into Boulder, check it out, grab something to eat, and see what we see. Sometimes love ain't meant to last forever It turns me back into the stone man I was people Been diving back into that Tennessee Back in the land of cheaper fuel, Charlie's a happy camper I think the last we were paying in like Idaho and Utah was what, like 340 to 350? Yeah, 340-ish, and I just got it for 286. It's like Christmas. It's making up for yesterday. And it'll be a cold day in hell Before I let you back into my bed And it'll be a cold It might have seemed like we were dogging the campground earlier. Actually, the campground itself, or the park itself, is pretty nice. It's right here in Lyons, and it's walking distance to all of like, the downtown area, which is really cute. So we just walked down here and started some laundry, and we're gonna go next door to this new bar where you can pour your own beer. today but first we found a car wash that we think or we hope will fit the rig in Longmont so we're gonna stop by there and try to get the truck and the trailer washed. Last time was an epic fail and the hose only reached half of it so we drove okay. around for a month with a half clean travel trailer. <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't happen again. <laughs> And today Charlie had to slam on his brakes so we knew once we got in the RV it was gonna be a disaster that's Denver traffic for you um, this little screw fell off of the oven the thing that like goes over the stove and now we can't get to it buy an RV they said it'll be fun they said mm -hmm. buy a new one you won't have to fix anything ever yeah sure how about some tweets 
You want it? <sighs> the screw that holds this thing on is what popped off somehow when we slammed our brakes. So whatever. I guess it could have been worse. We could have actually like ran into somebody, or somebody could have ran into us. And better news, this campground that we're staying at is really nice. It's called Cherry Creek State Park. It's right right on the outskirts of Denver, and it's about 20 or 20 miles, I think, from the airport. So it should be easy to go get my parents. Um, but lots of trees, lots of shaded. We had a pull-through site, which I didn't even realize. So that was a nice surprise. Made it easy. The um, check-in was a little bit messed up. Everybody was, like, backed up. They wouldn't let anybody check in to the park until one o'clock exactly so there was a whole line of trailers waiting to get in so when they opened it at one they said don't even worry about registering just go get to your site and come back and check in later but anyways it's a good site i think we'll enjoy it and now we're back at the car wash yesterday we did the trailer but we didn't have time to do the truck so i feel like i might be the only person that brings their own supplies to the car wash i feel like you might be the only person that washes their vehicle as much as you do <laughs> the trailer there go pick up my parents and then we'll pick it up on the way out to Colorado so pretty cool 